So yeah, a bunch of new LLMs have been launched lately. One of them is the Horizon Beta. It has been said that Horizon Beta has been performing better than Claude Sonnet 4, and that's what I want to test in this video. But before I test it, let me go over with you guys how you can use it inside of Cursor, currently for free because of Open Router. First of all, you'll want to create your own API key from Open Router. You can do that by going over to this link. Inside of this link, create an API key, blah, for me, since I'll be deleting this as soon as I record this video. Hopefully. Just grab that key, click to save it right here, and you can follow along with the next steps, which is going over to cursor, clicking on the add models tab. So let me open cursor. For you to open up the chat, just command shift I, or I believe it's control shift I inside of Windows. Click over here, then go down to add models. Uh, some tutorials I've seen saying that you have to disable all these other models, but that's really not necessary. You can just click on API keys, place in the key that you just copied in here, so Command V. Toggle this to override OpenAI base URL, and what you'll place in here is exactly this. By the way, all these commands will be in the description of the video as well. So just place in this URL in here, you can either click on verify or toggle this on. You'll see the option to enable OpenAI API key. Click on that, wait a while, this will be toggled, all of the other models will be uh, disabled, and then you can click on view all models, go all the way over to the add custom model, click that, and now the model you'll want to use is open router slash horizon beta. And you can do this for any model from open router. So anytime you have a new model that's launched, you see it inside of open router, you can test it like doing this exact process. So as you can see over in my chat, I now have open router slash horizon beta. You can just send it a hi, so hi and it should answer us back. And here's how you'll know that it's actually working. So let me open up a different chat and let me get this prompt that I just built right here. Copy it and paste it in there. This prompt is basically asking for a landing page, which will be the landing page for my dashboard here in metrics.app. It's basically a dashboard for school community owners. And as you can see, it doesn't have a landing page. It has nothing, just this. So inside of the prompt, I asked it to go inside of the project, analyze all of the project's features, uh, target audience, everything. Like this prompt really doesn't specify exactly what it needs to create. And that's what I'm testing. So I'm testing how it can go inside of my project, read everything to design like a complete and much better landing page. Okay, so the first thing it did is just plan through everything. So project analysis, target audience, it identified it's for school community owners, course creators, cohort leaders, and everything. I'm just gonna let it create it. So go on and build it. And it's funny that this happened because it's something that I've seen with other creators as well, where they asked it to build something and it first suggested a plan to build it through. I've only seen this inside of Cloud Code or inside of Curo as well from, from Amazon. It always plans ahead. And then based on that, it actually uses the tools to build everything that we need. Okay, so I got an error here, which is we're having trouble connecting to the model provider. This might be temporary. Please try again in a moment. When this happens, I usually just type in continue and let's see if like the model understands what it did. Okay, I've added a full landing page. Hmm, seems like it already created the landing page. Right, let me F5. And apparently it didn't place the landing page where it's supposed to. So let me check this landing page. Actually, it created a slash landing page, which isn't what I wanted, but I guess should be fine. Okay, right off the bat, despite it not having the correct font, this is pretty nice. Like, I really enjoyed this. This, Like, this is the best new ruler list design that I've seen so far produced in a single shot. It might seem like I'm being biased towards whatever is hyped in the moment. So let's actually test this with Claude. So since it created a slash landing, let's make Claude Sonet create the landing page in a different directory. Now the problem here is that maybe Claude code will understand that it already has a landing page and you will use this as context. So actually let me create a different branch. This will be the horizon beta, create branch, bring everything to that branch, uh, test, commit, publish branch. And now let's go back to our master branch and have Claude Sonnet for create our landing page. So first of all, let me go back to the main page. Now in here, for you to use different models, you'll have to click on add models, 
uh, go over to API keys, unmark this, so disable that. Uh, and now you can come back here and select Claude for Sonnet. So here's the thing, to make a fair comparison, we can't use the thinking model from Claude for Sonnet. So let's uncheck that, toggle the Claude for Sonnet without the thinking model. Let me remove the auto, have this selected. And now let me hit enter and see what it builds. Out of the bat, the tool usage for Claude for Sonnet is a bit better because it's browsing the internet to find out what is the best school community dashboard that it might build or using some kind of reference. Now it has a project analysis and I believe it, it's going straight to building it. It didn't ask me, hey, based on this planning, should I build what you want? It just went ahead and built whatever it thinks it should build. Okay, so it's just done building everything and this was the result. I'll admit that this is pretty nice. Like I really enjoyed this. I didn't even read the text or anything, but yeah, just based on the design, I really enjoyed it. Maybe the prompt was just optimal for this case, but I wasn't getting results like these for landing pages. Okay, so I went ahead and asked Tercer to merge the previous Horizon Beta branch with this branch, asked it to not commit this one. So we have that change and we can compare it over here with landing. So comparing both of them, obviously they need some refinement, but which of them would be faster to refine and which of them had a better solution? I feel like the one created from Horizon actually is less generic, you know, just because like the, this interface really reminds me of some kind of school uh, landing page. And I don't know, it feels different. It feels unique. It feels like the colors really understood what this project is about. And the metrics up here are at point. I mean, I feel like these are the type of metrics people would want to see directly. But for me, what really stood out was this button right here. So see interactive demo, because inside of my dashboard, I placed a demo for users that still didn't connect their school accounts to actually see which metrics they would uh, be able to visualize after they connect it. And this is really important. So the fact that Horizon identified that and placed it in here was pretty nice. Also the order of which it placed everything for me is better than the one created from Cloud Code because inside of Cloud Code, like you, you have this and it really feels like a lot of marketing. You know, I, I don't know you guys, and please let me know in, in the comment section, which one you prefer, but I really don't like these landing pages that have a lot of marketing, you know, you know, those marketing messages, like it's really generic. And I feel like Cloud Code always creates it in that sense, in that direction. While inside of Horizon, at least for this first prompt, maybe this was an edge case, maybe this was real like pure luck, but it actually created like it actually structured it in a way that it gets to important data just way faster. Inside of the one created by Cloud Code, it's more marketing-ish and then it has some elements that uh, despite it being marketing-ish, it is important like this one and Horizon just ignore that completely, but it is honestly just a step away to creating it. And since it's for free, I tried prompting it to fix everything that I needed. It successfully uses the to-do list tool, which I believe is from Cursor, but then just starts getting some connection issues. And every time I type continue, it's like it forgot what it should continue doing. So it kind of solves each one of these to-do list feature one at a time. And sometimes it just doesn't finish everything, but that's not a problem from the model. It's just because of this connection issue that we're getting from Open Router, which I believe is currently just because there's a lot of people using this free model. So this is how it looks with the correct font, which I believe is much better. Uh, let me know, from which of these landing pages would you feel more trust buying from? And also let us know what you think about Horizon Beta if you gave it a shot and which were the results. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Till then.